Well, it's another big game and another bottle job for Derby County. It's probably the third time this season that we've had an opportunity to build a bit of a gap or get into the top two. You look back at Peterborough on New Year's Day, bottled that game. It's That was a game where we could get ourselves into the top two. You've got Reading where we could put ourselves top of the league. We bottled that. You've got Barnsley today where you look at the other results around the leagues and it's, it, it gives us a chance to build a bit of a gap. Now... Dwight Gale made his debut, but obviously it's one of them games where he's not really going to get a touch of the ball. He had a chance, but I think it was just a bit too far in front of him. We wasn't exactly at the races for me. I think after the first half, we had something like 56% passing accuracy, and it's just not good enough. Like We've lost today 2-1 to Barnsley with, I think their second goal was from a corner, a header, which we've got to be doing better from. Paul Warren prides himself on corners, set pieces, throw-ins and all that jazz. And we're just not... We're not very good at defending them today. And we scored from one with Sonny Bradley. Delighted for him. It's about time he got his goal. The amount of times he gets dragged down at that back post, it's about time he got one in. So. Over 80% of you are not subscribed, so make sure you hit that red button down below or in the corner over here to subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, make sure you like, let me know your thoughts on today's game and keep yourself around for all the Formula 1 and football content I've got heading your way. And I'll let you now get back to the video. The goal, brilliant for Sonny Bradley, but other than that, wasn't really great for their first goal. Uh, Phillips scored both of them for them. It was, I just don't think there was enough closing down. I don't think there was enough pressure placed on him. The ball came out. He had enough time to take a touch, set himself and go. And for me, that just isn't good enough. Like, you're back three, back four. You know the midfielders aren't there, so you have to step up. Yes, you can't leave a gap so that they can play a through ball in and then slot it across. But you've also can't let him shoot from where he was. Yes, it's got to be a great strike to get in, but he's got that in his locker. We've seen it previously. And for me, I'm, it's another game where I said it on Twitter, I think we've bottled it. I th again, I think we've bottled it. It's a chance where you look at the results, Bolton lost 4-1 and had a man sent off. Uh, if we'd have beat Barnsley, that would have been fourth place losing as well. Portsmouth dropped points, so we could have closed the gap on Portsmouth at the top. And for me, it it's again, it's just not good enough. Like... Yes, we beat Stevenage last week and it was another similar game to that, in my opinion. I don't think, in fact, I'll be honest with you, I think I enjoyed the Stevenage game more. I don't think this game versus Barnsley, apart from up until we scored, I don't really think we was really in the game today. I thought Barnsley were much better than us. And I think, I think Barnsley and Bolton both have a game in hand on us. And it's like, they both win their game in hand, Barnsley will go on to 69 and join us and Bolton will go above us by three points. So it we play Charlton on Tuesday and that, for me, now turns into a must win. We've got to make sure that we win our home games. It's as simple as that. I personally think this season it's going to be 90 points to get promoted. Let me know in the comments what you think. How many points do you think we're going to need for automatic promotion? But we've just got to get we've got to get going again. We have yes, I think that's only like the third or fourth loss uh, since um, since we played Stevenage away. But it's all right being the third or fourth loss. But we've took a load of draws and the games we've lost have always been the important ones all the ones where you're like oh we can do something here and even today we went up front we went up front in front and for me if you're going in front away from home against Barnsley a team you're battling with for automatics for playoffs whatever you want to class it as at the moment it's not good enough to then drop t two goals and the first one I'm really disappointed with like Defensively, I just think we didn't pr we didn't push out enough, and I think that's just the biggest problem. Like a couple of weeks ago, we was praising the players because we had five players running out to block a ball dead late on in the game, but today it was what thirty minutes, thirty thirty five minutes in, and just doesn't come out enough to block it. And you've only got one man really that went out for it. And for me, I'm not a fan of these sorts of styles that we're playing at the moment. I just don't think it 
it's going to work at the next level. Obviously, we've got a long way to go before we even think about the championship. But you look at us right now, we're sitting second in the league. We play on Tuesday against Charlton. That could put us a bit further clear, depending on how other results go. But for me, it just ain't right at the moment. And something needs to click. Hopefully, Dwight Gale will be fit enough to start on Tuesday night. Hopefully, even getting Waghorn back in the lineup because maybe not the starting lineup, of course, but on the bench so that we've, we've got some options up front. Uh, Tom Barkazing came on and I don't really know what he did. Uh, Ibu Adams had a great game today. Uh, Kane Wilson was good in parts. Now, I'm not a fan of this back three. Now, I completely understand that we don't have a solid nine at the moment, so we've had to play sort of into the hands of the opposition in a way because we've had to put two players up front who aren't strikers. But it's now time for me to put Mendes Lang back on the wing, get him where he's get him back in where he's dangerous on them in them wide areas where he can beat a man, put a ball in the box or beat a man and take a shot. Like he had a, f a few late on in the game today which were really good chances. There was one where there was a deflection which could have gone anywhere really. So it's just one of them things. Hopefully uh, Paul Wong can make the changes into the game next week. Um, obviously, there's two games next week, if I've got it right. I think we play uh, Tuesday and Saturday, so that's going to be interesting. I'll have my match preview out for Charlton on Tuesday. Uh, that'll come out on Monday. Um, there were a couple of F1 videos filling in as well over this next few days heading into the start of the season. But just to continue on, with the game today, it just ain't good enough. We're just not quite cutting the mustard, in my opinion. And we've got to pick up, for me, 12 more points. Uh, I think 12, is that? What are we on? 69? 22. 21. 21 more points, I think, will give us 90. So I think we've got a few problems at the moment. And we need those points quickly. Three... Get, picking up six points next week will be brilliant, but dropping three today just isn't isn't good enough because we was in the lead and it's, again, defensive lapses. I think not starting the Ambi was a bit of a problem. And then we put Cash in at left back and it's like, there's just things happening which I'm not entirely sure why they're happening. So let me know your thoughts on the game today in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I'm really grateful for all the support on the channel recently. It just keeps growing and growing. So I'll catch you in my next video tomorrow, which will be all about Formula 1 testing. And I'll catch you in my next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula 1 and Football Weekend.